Oh, welcome back, folks. Well, we've reached that point in the season. We've reached that point in the night where we've got to take advantage of the pool. And I've got my feet in the pool, and it is feeling nice. He's got the temperature set to 87 degrees. So it may be fall on top. But down here, it's ready for pool weather. And we're going to be finding more of that as we head into this upcoming weekend. Yeah, the pool days aren't done. Boating days aren't done with highs up near 90 on Saturday. You know what? It wouldn't be a backyard barbecue if we didn't somehow get Matt Hefner in the pool. And I devised a plan. I talked to the kids. You know, we know everybody around here loves the Chiefs. Matt Hefner is a big Chiefs fan. Matt, Matt Hefner is a big Chiefs fan. But guess what? We've got some Raiders fans, too. Hey kids, I heard this guy hates the Raiders. The Raiders are terrible. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it just takes a little bit of a push. That's all you need. And in this case, a literal push from the kids. Kids did great. All right, let's get to that forecast. The forecast this evening, obviously it's been beautiful. Now off the coast of Florida, we've got what's left of Milton. Milton heading away. Uh, it looks like it's going to be, uh, you know, a nice few days in the southeast, and that's exactly what they need to dry out, recover from not one but two hurricanes here over the last few weeks. Locally for us, we've got clear skies. We've got a beautiful night ahead. And I mentioned at the top of the show about the northern lights. I mean, this is the real deal, folks. This is a solid shot at being able to see the northern lights this far south across southern Missouri. The solar storm that, that erupted yesterday, well, that thing is starting to hit the Earth now. It actually started to hit the Earth about noon today, before noon, and it will actually increase in intensity as we head into the evening hours. So the hope, cross your fingers, is that we see the northern lights this far south. And it's an inexact science, but, you know, based on what we've seen back in May when we had the big one and recent or subsequent opportunities at the northern lights, you know, I believe that we've got at least a decent shot at it. So if you've never seen the Northern Lights, maybe give tonight a try. Beautiful night. Uh, looks like we've got starry skies ahead. Temperatures dropping only into the 50s. As we look ahead to tomorrow, warmer still. You know, today we made it into the low 80s. Tomorrow it looks like mid 80s for highs. That's going to be perfect pool weather as we get into the afternoon, especially if your pool is heated like this one. And then we get to Saturday. You know, we've been talking all week long about how this Saturday is going to be a record breaker. I still believe that. I think we're setting record highs in several spots. I think Springfield is only one of them. Joplin's another. I think in the Raleigh, Raleigh Vichy area, that's yet another spot that will set a record high on Saturday. And folks, if we hit 90 on Saturday, we do a couple of things. We set that record high, a record that goes back to 1890. The old record's 88. The other thing that we do is we hit 90 degrees. We haven't hit 90 degrees that late, at least on record, ever. Our latest 90-degree day was back in 1963 on October the 11th. So that's something else that we're going to be watching. Now, as we look ahead at the uh, upcoming pattern, what we're going to find is that conditions are looking... Uh, well, looking a bit more chilly as we work into uh, this upcoming week. We've got a big shift in the pattern. I know a lot of you kind of wait and anticipate the fall season. Maybe you're not a happy, happy with what we've got going on right now. Well, we've got our first really, truly chilly outbreak of air coming early next week. Uh, looks like that will come into the area on Sunday. Sunday, we're still looking at highs up near 80 degrees, but the first half of next week, we're going to have several days in a row where highs may only be in the 60s. In fact, on Tuesday, maybe in the low 60s. And then we look at Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be that day that where maybe we see a bit of a frost uh, across the area, maybe even a light freeze. Now, the bad news is with this strong cold front, this opportunity at getting some much needed rainfall, it's not going to happen. It looks like the rain is not going to happen with this cold front. We're going to have to wait yet another week. We've gone 17 days without any measurable rainfall. I think we're going at least another week, but I am looking at the longer range pattern, which implies that we may see a shift where instead of a trough in the east or a ridge across the middle of the country, we see a trough in the western United States. That southwest flow that results in our area, what that does, it finally opens up the gulf and allows some moisture to move in our area, and it opens up that opportunity at some much needed rainfall, not this weekend, not next week, but maybe the following weekend. So I know as dry as it's gotten, and we're looking at extreme drought conditions over southwest Missouri and parts of northwest Arkansas, we need the rain. I think we may have an opportunity at some rainfall toward that weekend and into the week that follows after that. You know, the whole time I've been doing the weather, Tom has been looming. What's going on? 
just uh, give me the microphone. Okay. Give me the microphone. Oh, oh, your earpiece. I need your earpiece. Okay. Okay, because I've got to I've got to figure this up. What? Okay. Here, you might want to pull these down. Just, just. Okay. Just, okay. I know All right. Now, moving. just back up, just a little bit, a little bit, look, because I got to take a picture here. Okay. All right. Ready? Go. Oh. He ran over my foot. Yeah. He ran over oh. my foot. Bye, everybody. <laughs>